Well, if you're looking for a career that makes a real difference in people's life, look no further than public health. Well, in this very highly popular demanded video, I'm going to show you how to pursue a career in public health and make a real impact on the world. Well, hey there, my name is Shirish and I want to talk about a very specific program, which is public health. It's one of the most important careers out there because it impacts so many people's lives. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get started in public health and make a real difference in the world. This is the most comprehensive video on public health. So let's stick around and get started. Hi, I'm Shirish Gupta and I empower people to hack their success, rise above the challenges and confidently create an extraordinary life they deserve. A career in public health is a great way to make a difference in the world. From working to prevent the spread of diseases to educating people about healthy lifestyle, public health professionals play a vital role in keeping communities healthy and safe. Pursuing a career in public health can be a great choice for people who are passionate about helping others and making a positive impact on the world. There are many different public health careers available, so there is sure to be a good fit for everyone. And with the added bonus of being able to help people and make a difference, a career in public health is an excellent choice for anyone looking to have a positive change in the world. Now let's look into more details about it. A degree in public health, like an MPH, which is Masters in Public Health, prepares individuals for public health careers. The public health program is designed to provide students with the skills and knowledge necessary to improve the health of specific populations and communities through education, awareness, policy and research. The public health degree is offered by accredited universities around the world. Now, a public health program will provide students with a more advanced understanding of the five core disciplines of public health. They are biostatistics, epidemiology, environmental health, health policy and administration, and social and behavioral sciences, and the potential for advanced knowledge in the given specialization. Now, let's take into these specializations so you can understand it better. First is biostats. As the health field advances, so does the amount of data available from studies and clinical trials. Biostatisticians take this data and transform it into meaningful guidance for public health decisions. So you will collect data, analyze it, and use it to evaluate health programs, create new interventions, or influence public policy. Consider a career in biostats if you enjoy working with numbers and reading up on the latest scientific research. Now, biostatistics jobs are biostatistician, research associate, statistical programmer, research scientist, data analyst, data scientist. The next specialization comes is epidemiology or epi. When a disease or virus impacts a population, epidemiologists investigate the patterns and cause and educate the population around threats to help reduce the risk to public health, something like COVID-19. You might analyze data and present findings to policymakers, plan and direct treatment studies, or develop health surveillance systems as well. Consider a career in epi if you are inquisitive and curious and love collecting clues and solving puzzles. Epidemiology's jobs are available in, as clinical trial researcher, field epi epidemiology, uh, veterinarian epidemiologist, epidemiologist, investigator. Now then comes the environmental health. Environmental health deals with the natural and man-made aspects of the environment that impacts human health. You will study the impact and development interventions for issues like air pollution, climate change, sanitization practices, and occupational risks. Consider a career in environmental health if you care about the planet and are passionate about making the world a safer place for vulnerable and at-risk communities as well. Now, there are specific jobs in environmental health-related sector. Those are environmental safety engineer, environmental health specialist, health and safety director, health inspector. Next comes as a specialization public policy or health policy and administration. Public health policy can have a big impact on overall health and diseases. Everything from smoke-free laws to COVID-19 travel recommendations are a result of policymakers. Working in policy often means acting as a liaison between healthcare agencies and the government or managing public health programs at a state or local level. Now consider a career in public policy if you enjoy the challenge of persuading people. Now, public policy jobs include healthcare policy analyst, healthcare administrator, healthcare lobbyist, health services manager. I've also done a video on healthcare management that you can watch it here. Now, the next specialization comes is behavioral science. Behavioral scientists seek solution to widespread public health issues from the perspective of human behavior. You will analyze data and latest behavioral research to develop public health intervention programs for issues like addiction, obesity, smoking, mental health, domestic violence, and overall wellness. 
Now consider a career in behavioral sciences if you're interested in what makes people do what they do, something I'm totally interested in. Now behavioral science jobs are behavioral science data analyst, addiction treatment program developer, behavioral scientist, social service manager, and similar. Now that you have understood the details of public health and its specializations, let's look into the future scope and salary offered for public health professionals. Public health is a field that is constantly evolving, which means that the future scope for public health careers is always expanding. The public health field is expected to see significant growth in the next few years, making the public health degree more valuable than ever. And with COVID-19 that shook the entire world, there will be an increasing demand for public health experts who can help manage chronic diseases and pandemics and promote healthy living. So a degree in public health opens up a number of potential careers. The most obvious choice is to go into public health administration, working for local, state, or even private agencies that regulate public health. However, there are also opportunities in public policy, working for think tanks, for nonprofits that develop policies to improve public health. Another possibility is to become a public health educator, working in schools or community organization to raise awareness about public health issues. You generally must have about a PhD level to be, be in this position. And of course, there are also researcher positions available in public health sector. With a master's degree in public health, the sky is the limit for you. Now, one of the most in-demand public health careers is that of public health analyst, which not a lot of people, they know about these. Now, these professionals help to identify and assess public health issues and develop and implement programs to address these issues. Healthcare jobs in general are expected to increase by 14% and management roles in healthcare in particular by 18% between 2018 to 2028. So there's a huge scope. Additionally, jobs that require an MPH typically offer much higher than average salaries. The Bureau of Labor Statistics in the US reports that the median pay for the medical and health services managers is about $100,000 per year. Now, you can work with private hospitals or organizations like WHO, UN, disease prevention. You can also work with academic institution as researcher and educator. In short, there is a lot of opportunity for you to work in public health. But now let's look into skills required and job responsibilities in this career. A career in public health is perfect for those who want to make a difference in the world. From fighting epidemics to promoting healthy lifestyles, public health professionals play a vital role in protecting the public. However, a career in public health is not for everyone. In order to be successful, public health professionals must have certain skills and qualities, which I'm going to talk about now. For example, they must be able to communicate effectively with people from all walks of life. They must also be able to work well under pressure and handle difficult situations. Finally, they must be committed to lifelong learning as public health is an ever-changing field. If you have these skills and qualities, then a career in public health may be the right fit for you. Public health professionals typically have a master's degree in public health, which is an MPH from an accredited institution. Public health professionals typically work to improve the overall health of population by educating people about healthy lifestyle choices, conducting research on public health issues and developing and implementing public health programs. So public health professionals also play an important role in responding to public health emergencies as well, such as natural disasters and disease outbreaks. Public health professionals have a wide range of responsibilities, from promoting healthy lifestyles to preparing for and responding to public health emergencies. While the specific task of public health professionals may vary depending upon the career path, there are some basic common daily tasks that public health professionals often perform. For example, public health professionals may collect data and monitor public health trends, develop and implement public health initiatives, educate the public about health issues, and advocate for public policy changes. To be successful in public health, it is important to have strong communication, problem-solving skills, and analytical skills. Those interested in pursuing a career in public health can earn a bachelor's or master's degree in public health from an accredited university. Well, now let's look into the step-by-step -step roadmap on how to pursue a career in public health. Public health is a field that is experiencing tremendous growth. In fact, the public health job market is expected to grow by nearly 14 to 18% in the next decade. So what exactly do you need to do to become a public health professional? Well, first, you will need to obtain a bachelor's degree in public health or a related field. Once you have your degree, you will then need to obtain a master's degree in public health. Now, most public health jobs require at least a master's degree. So this is an essential step in your roadmap to becoming a public health professional. To get started, I have attached some online courses that you can pursue to understand this field or to enhance your profile. These are courses from the top universities in the world. So make sure to check out these programs. 
Public health degrees are offered at many top universities. Here are some of the top universities offering masters in public health degree programs. These are Yale University, Johns Hopkins University, Harvard, Columbia, University of California, NUS, Oxford, and there are a lot of other universities. One important thing to talk about here. I am often asked what is the difference between an MPH and an MSPH degree that is masters in public health versus MS in public health now both degree types prepare you for a career in public health but what's the difference is one better than other now master of science in public health which is MSPH is a research based degree that focuses on the science behind public health issues so if you are looking to work in a lab or do research for government agency non-profit or private company this degree is for you on the other hand master in public health mph is a practice based degree that focuses on solving public health problems if you're interested in working with communities or population in the field to improve their health this degree is for you one important factor to consider is accreditation as well the council of education for public health ceph is an independent agency recognized by US Department of Education that sets standard and requirements for public health education some mph programs are accredited by ceph which can give students a competitive advantage when they're applying for jobs or furthering their careers however ceph accreditation is not required in order to work in public health it's not mandatory but it's just like recommended and many successful public health professionals have completed an accredited program now ultimately it is up to you to decide whether ceph accreditation is right for you or your career goals or not after you have obtained your master's degree you will then need to gain experience in the field now many public health professionals start their careers working in community outreach or education others may work in government agencies or non profit or even private sector you can also look for research in this field no matter where you start your career gaining experience in public health will be essential to your success in this field So if you're looking for a challenging and rewarding career in healthcare sector, public health may be a perfect fit for you. Well, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to show your love by liking and subscribing to my channel and also remember to share this video and my channel with your friends and family. I would recommend you to watch this video as your next video. And I will see you very soon with another amazing video. Till then, this is Shree signing off. Bye-bye.